हाई एवरी वन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रीजन फॉर नॉट क्लियरिंग फेज वन ऐसे क्या क्या रीजन हैं जिसकी वजह से आपका आर बी आई फेज वन क्लियर नहीं हो रहा है या हो सकता है कि ना हो क्लियर इन द फ्यूचर वट आर द मेन रीजन बिहाइंड नॉट बींग एबल टू क्लियर फेज वन इन द पास्ट एंड वट रीजन कैन पुश यू आउट ऑफ द रेस ऑफ आर बी एग्जामिनेशन इन द फ्यूचर स्पेसिफिकली इन फेज वन I will be talking about four points, and these four points are available in the timestamp in description as well. So you can pick them up from there as well. Let's start with these four reasons. Number one is skills through which you can choose. बहुत important है. Let me try and explain it to you. Now, exactly what happens in RBI examination? In phase one, you have quant. you have reasoning you have english and you have gk i'm assuming that the road towards excelling in english and in gk is pretty clear and pretty straightforward for majority of you watching this session this video the trick lies in quant and reasoning now how do you perform well in quant and reasoning how do you stay in the race in quant and reasoning well reasoning uh, quant is of 30 marks and reasoning is of 60 marks but the good thing here or the fortunate thing here is that you do not have to score 30 out of 30 28 out of 30 or 60 out of 60 in quant and reasoning the maximum score that you are required to attain is a mere 50% that is the optimum score this means if you are scoring 15 in quant and if you are scoring 30 in reasoning that is good enough to not only clear phase 1 but also to score very well in phase 1 as well so what i'm talking about is the skill to choose these 15 questions out of these 30 questions these 30 questions out of these 60 questions so that you can not only clear the cut off but also fulfill the requirement of quant and reasoning okay main kya kehna cha raha hu main kehna cha raha hu ki bhai 15 number hi aapko lane hain 30 number hi aapko lane hain quant aur reasoning mein try and attain those those try and focus on those 15 marks and 30 marks so if there are 30 questions in quant you know that you have to solve only 15 questions you do not need to solve all 30 questions therefore a person who is spending 2 seconds 3 seconds 5 seconds in choosing a question that he believes he can solve is smarter then a student who is trying to solve all the questions and then not able to solve even required or enough questions there are a lot of students in fact majority of the students why they fail in phase 1 and i see it year after year is because they're trying to solve all the questions in quant they're not learning in advance they're not building up their skill of choosing the right question that they can solve in quant as well as reasoning let me give you a small example in quant data interpretation is often considered to be simple but it is not so simple if you get stuck you might end up wasting a lot of time so the upside is upside is very high the downside is also very high the upside is high because there are 8 to 20 questions if you are able to solve these questions that means you are already in comfort zone the downside is if you get stuck you might end up wasting 10 minutes out of 25 minutes that you have for quant therefore because the downside is very high i would never want to start with di when i'm starting with quant paper when i'm starting with quant section i would never want to start with data interpretation i would also always pick up data interpretation towards the middle of quant section so when i'm done with probably 15 minutes of my quant and i'm left with about 10 minutes that is the best time to pick up di so even if you end up wasting 10 minutes the remaining 10 minutes you will get 8 to 10 questions right if you don't then also you already used these 15 minutes to solve probably 7 8 10 questions in advance so you're always you're in a safer zone so this is one example through which you can choose the right questions at the right time in every part of the paper to ensure that you are able to cross the minimum cut off as well as the required optimum cut off in the examination i hope this is clear 
it looks very difficult but it is very easy if you start spending time on learning this on your own as well ask ask yourself questions whenever you attempt a test ask yourself where did you waste time why did you end up wasting time how can you improve it further okay the same applies in reasoning you never start with puzzles or seating arrangements in reasoning because if you end up wasting time in that you've lost confidence and at the same time you've lost time therefore you always start with easier questions like directions blood relations syllogisms to give you that confidence and also to help you score some marks to start with in reasoning i hope this is clear this is one of the most important points why students fail and one of the reasons one of the ways through which you can clear the examination even with lesser knowledge let's come to the second point sequence of coverage now this has already been talked about in let me just write it down this has already been covered talked about in the video that i came out with recently which was on two month timetable for rbi so i gave you guys two month timetable for rbi in that timetable i gave you the sequence of quant and reasoning as well it's very important to follow a specific sequence let me explain to you how is it so important let's start with reasoning this time now in reasoning i have mentioned in that timetable that you start with syllogism the timetable is here before me you start with syllogism then directions then blood relations inequality coding decoding alphabet test sequence series input output these are the eight chapters that you cover one by one and then only you get into data sufficiency and puzzles and seating arrangements which are point number 9 and point number 10 therefore i am also telling you that whenever you encounter a test whenever you take a mock test or the final exam you follow the same sequence for in your examination as well you follow the same sequence in your examination as well because yahan pe humne kya kiya hai what have i done i have used two variables to identify what to cover first what to cover later these two variables are what is more important number 1 and at the same time easier to cover easier to cover easier to replicate easier to score marks in that is why syllogism is at the top directions blood relations inequality you can easily figure out these are easier topics and at the same time a lot of questions are asked from these topics in the exam so you look for these questions solve these questions first and then move to other parts of the syllabus when you are preparing when you are uh, taking your test when you are uh, practicing at at that time also follow the sequence of coverage so that you get used to using the sequence of coverage in the final examination as well whether you are practicing whether you are going through concepts whether you are taking a mock follow the sequence of coverage automatically you will be able to score higher in the examination okay i hope point number 2 is clear let's come to point number 3 which is the art of time management the art of time management now this is very 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 important because rbi examination is not just about your knowledge especially phase 1 quant reasoning english it is more about your ability to manage time that is what they want to know because your aptitude in solving questions of quadratic solving questions of syllogism is not going to define how good or bad you are in your job but what's going to define your goodness or badness in your job is how well are you able to manage time whenever you are under pressure how do you allocate things how does your brain work that is what they're trying to judge through quant reasoning in english and that is what you have to learn and show to them the art of time management let's take a very small example to understand this time management aapko kis tarah se karna hai before that i would also recommend that you watch this video of uh miss nidhi yadav who cleared rbi examination in 2022 she has talked in detail about time management how she used the art of time management to clear phase 1 and phase 2 better and smarter than others okay she was working she was working simultaneously in sbi how did she manage time in her personal life and at the same time how did she manage time while she was solving mocks okay coming back how do you learn the art of time management let's take an example to understand this for example aapne ek test liya and the test was of 2 hours you took a test of quant reasoning english gk 
After that, you sit down with that test and you try and understand where did you go wrong, where did you go right. Okay? आपने कहां कहां पे गलती की कहां पे गलती नहीं की फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कम टू क्वान सेक्शन एंड यू फिगर इन ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स यू वर रिक्वायर टू सॉल्व थर्टी क्वेश्चन ओके यू वॉन्टेड टू चूज एनी फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ दोज थर्टी क्वेश्चन बट यू एंडेड अप स्पेंडिंग लेट से फाइव मिनट्स इन टोटल ऑन फिगरिंग आउट वॉट आर दीज फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन दैट आई वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व ओके और दी अप्रोच ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट दीज फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी लेंगी or you find found out these 15 questions but you did not mark them and therefore you lost them you had to find them out again so there were certain inconsistencies through which or because of which you ended up wasting more time now the best approach to why finding out the right questions is it's very easy what you do is you go from question number 1 1 2 3 4 5 whatever till 30 question question number 30 you start with question number 1 if it is not in your first five categories what are these first five categories that i have in quant we have inequality quadratic equation number 1 profit loss discount and percentage number 2 average mixture allegation number 3 ratio proportion ages number 4 time and work number 5 ye aapke panch top five priorities hain through which you start so if question number 1 is not one of these top five then automatically you reject it for now and move forward okay you look at question number 2 question number 2 is one of these five categories you look at the variables that are involved you go through the question look at the variables and before attempting this question you ask yourself whether you will be able to solve this question or not depending upon the variables if there are too many variables you might not be able to solve it so you move forward okay if assuming that you are good in these five topics you prepared well and you feel that you can solve this question so you now you start a timer and you give yourself uh, to do th- uh, maximum 2 minutes i would not say 3 minutes i would say 60 seconds to 2 minutes max to solve this question if even after 1 and 1/2 minutes 2 minutes you're not getting anywhere after 60 seconds you're not getting anywhere you drop the question move forward okay aapne cut kar diya usko and you move forward because you have to make sure that you're going through all the 30 questions you will find those 10 15 questions that can be solved easily okay you just have to find them in a very targeted way okay now lot of students find problem here because if they are always looking at the clock automatically their concentration goes down so how do you deal with this as well what you do in this case is you train yourself in such a way that your brain starts telling you okay One minute is over, or approximately one minute is over. I don't have enough time now. If I'm not able to get it in the next thirty seconds, I have to move forward. Okay, this comes with practice. As you practice, your brain will start telling you automatically. You won't need a clock anymore. Your brain will start telling you after sixty seconds, dude, we're almost done with sixty seconds. We don't have enough time, dude. We're done with one one minute thirty seconds. We don't have a lot of time. Let's move forward. this is how you decide okay and you have to train your brain to learn this art of time management okay so this is just one example through which i wanted to tell you how do you manage time how do you ensure that you are able to improve and how do you practice before the final exam as well point number 3 we are done i hope it is clear if it is not or if there are any confusions feel free to write them down in the comment section below i will look after the queries as well Point number four, and the last and the most important one that I have for you is the question whether quant and reasoning is difficult or not. If you keep telling yourself that quant and reasoning is difficult because everybody says so, because I gave the examination last last year and I found it very difficult, and uh, I have to prepare a lot, even after that I might not be able to score well. If you if you are always telling yourself the negative things. then you will never improve then you will never be able to take on the challenge so you tell yourself instead that yes content reasoning is of a high standard not difficult difficult is a negative word is of a high standard or high level and i have to go to that level i have to achieve that level see it depends a lot on the words that you use on how motivated or demotivated you are in your life it's very important that you stop using the word difficult instead you start using the word 
that it is of a high level, high standard, and I have to go to that level. I have to be prepared for that level. And it's not just knowledge, it's also smart work, it's also time management that is going to define my performance in quant and reasoning. Okay, so this is what I wanted to discuss in this session. Now, when we come to the sequence, which was point number two, the same sequence is being followed by Chetan sir when he teaches for, uh, uh, when he is teaching in the revision classes, which have already started for the upcoming RB examination. Okay, so that is what uh, we are doing. We are we have figured out the most important topics, the most the easiest topics in every part of the syllabus, and we are covering them first in the form of revision through questions and answers. These revision classes are of a good speed because we are assuming that you have already covered things in the past. If you are preparing for it for the first time, if you have not gone through any part of the syllabus, then the classes are not for you. Otherwise, you can enroll in the course and you can use these revision classes to make sure that you are revised properly in the next two months. Okay, because that is the objective for us right now to ensure that all the enrolled students, all the students who are going to write the examination, I want a, a very amazing result this time. That's why keeping that in mind, now we have completed, shifted our gears and we have moved into revision to make sure that they remember whatever they read. Okay, if you have the same target, if you have the same uh, objective right now pertaining to RBA examination, then very well you can come and join the revision classes as well. So with this, let's finish off this session. If you have any queries, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you have any confusions, you can very well reach out to me, the, to me in the comment section below. I'll try and answer your queries through videos if possible. I'll see you very, very soon again. Take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.